So now it's time, everybody, for some hot takes. Come on. All right, now it's time for those hot takes. This is that time for one minute on the clock, and all my guests get one minute break down all the hot takes on all the latest breaking news. And you before the minute blows up, just one minute. That's all they get. If they do it, if they make that time, will the bomb blow up? And that's it. They have to stop. That's it. The takes are done. But it doesn't matter, because their takes might not be done. Their takes will be great for you, and you choose who wins hot takes. We'll have to wait and see who our hot take master is for this Monday edition of Cruise Control. I'm so excited, as always. Um... Happy Monday, everybody, again. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of breaking news, a lot of legalities happening today. So much legal news. I think like, everybody's suing each other after the weekend, and people are mad, and people are going down for some things. Of course, Diddy Watch will be happening for the next year, probably. So we'll be, we'll be asking the question, did he do it? 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 Did For the next year or so. Anyways, who's going to get the hot takes tonight? That's my question. Lexi, help us out. Uh, who do you think should go first for the hot takes? Oh. It's my time. I get to choose this. Okay. You get the power. Uh, is GR one of the people? Is that how this works? Yeah, GR is in tonight. All right. Uh, then I'm going to start with the Thirsty Daddy, just because he's familiar. <laughs> yeah, you feeling good about it, GR? We'll so. find out here shortly. <laughs> you I, don't I want me to do hot it. takes, because I kicked y'all ass up and down the screen. Okay, That's yeah. right. Me. I'm okay. undefeated. Yeah, okay. Peppy's already getting cocky about this. He's oh. not going to do hot takes for everybody. When you only do one, you can only win one. Yeah, that that's very true. I mean, that's why I tell him all the time, Peppy. Peppy, how's that feel about it, huh? How's that feel? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong oh, with you, laugh. little booty booty. What? Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Literally, Peppy. <laughs> right? He's got a good point. All right, GR. Let's uh, let's get away from Peppy for a while because I think he's been drinking as always. Pe- uh, GR, are you ready for these hot takes? You feeling good? Yes, sir. All right, GR. All right, GR. Get smooth, classy, debonair, over the top, over that mountain, back down, land, smack down in Europe, and call it a good day. Hot take time. Feeling good? Yes. Let's do it. All right. Here we go, GR. All right. Hot takes in three, two, one. Hot takes. Rings. I hope you get it season three. Season two was so much better than one. Inside out two. I'm glad I get great numbers. It's fun to watch. Uh, Despicable Me, I love the series. They're just cute and funny. Make no sense, but that's okay. Smollett, try to completely get burned, asshole. Diddy, lather up, baby. Bye-bye, Diddy. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and we can't forget Kelly. Live with it, asshole. <laughs> what can you say about an asshole like that? Uh, Perry's doctor is being guilty and only got, ten, only got 10 years. Can you believe that? Chino scam, buddy made it. Grandma, it's just about money. Who gives a shit? The Fuji, that was a woman trying to rip off her fan name. Scorsese, glad he's not done. Hope he does it one more. Joker 2, eh, the biggest piece of crap I've seen in forever. <laughs> GR is not having it, but great, great, great hot takes, GR. How's it? How's it feel, GR? Does it feel good? Feel good? Those hot takes? Oh, you know it does. <laughs> great, 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 great hot take. I have against some my other people better. <laughs> great hot takes, GR. We'll have to see if you become the hot take master tonight. I don't know. It's tough. Uh, Barnabas hates uh, animated kids cartoons, man. I don't know. Come on, what's wrong with animated kids cartoons? There's some good stuff out there, you know. I, 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 there's some good stuff. Can I give it a all chance, cartoons. Barnabas. All cartoons yes. are fantastic. Yeah, come on, Barnabas. Come on, man. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Great hot takes. <laughs> what, do you only like adult cartoons? Maybe, maybe that's it. He only likes, like, I like the more adults, like, the better. What do you, what's even, what's even, you must like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles then? Yeah, but what's even an adult cartoon? Is it like, we're talking about like Akira? It's called uh, Hentai, I think, is the yeah, proper yeah. term. Oh, Ichi. Hentai. <laughs> Ichi. Hentai. I think Ichi. that's the official term. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know anything about that, but I, I believe you. I'll go for it. Oh, I'll send you some links. <laughs> Hentai, senpai. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Check your 
Canceled, Brian. I'm looking for a job, and I'm reasonable with the pay. But you gotta hey, throw buddy, in some buddy. snickety snacks. That's a must. Come on, man. That's gotta come, on, come in on the back end, buddy. I got peppy. All right, all right, Lexi, are you ready to do your hot takes, or are you gonna send it over to Mark? How you feeling? I, I, I'll let Mark go last. Get it, let him get a feel for everything. Let the season right. veteran go first. And, all right, you know, Lexi, I know you got this. Let them, let them ease into the hot takes. Who's going to be the hot take master? Could it be Lexi? Could it be GR? We're going to find out right now. Lexi, are you ready for these hot takes? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. As always, I know you got this. I believe in you. Hot takes in three, two, one. Get those hot takes. Rings of Power Renewal. Who's watching it? Inside Out 2 killing it. I mean, these Pixar movies are always killing it. When are they not? Of course, it's going to get a third one, but I really think it's disrespectful to Pixar. Despicable Me 4 coming out to the cock. Despicable to the cock, right? R. Kelly, R. Kelly appealing, appeals feeling. Ah, R. Kelly, you're not getting out, bud. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesse Smollett, you know, you're on a show with already somebody crazier than you. Why you got to be crazy? Uh, Diddy lather it up. Come on, Diddy. You're not getting out of jail, bud. Perry's doctor is guilty. We knew that. Uh, Pacino's COVID scare. Hoo I can't smell anything. Uh, COVID class action, or I'm sorry, uh, Paramount class action lawsuit. Uh, yeah, who's not going to sue Paramount? They're fucking up left, right, and center. Uh, Scorsese's not retiring. Good. Joker 2 this one weekend. Aw, oh, poor incels. And Lauren Hill. Suing my band with a lawsuit. Fucking them over for fraud. <laughs> Great hot take, Lexi! <laughs> great, great, great hot takes. <laughs> Hearts and fireworks, that's what I want. Get them all, get them all, great hot takes. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, it's it's going to be a good, good Monday. That's for sure. All right. It's great. So far, I guess it's Mark's turn. Mark's the last guy. Last last one oh. standing on the hot take mountain. That's all right. Let's go. Tell you, Mark. All right, Mark. How you feel? You, oh, you feeling uh, good about it? You know, I feel better than like R. Kelly. So that's a good <laughs> start. <laughs> I, I, I would Same. hope so. I feel like uh, I feel like R. Kelly is not not feeling anything right now. Well, he's feeling something. Who knows in jail? Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> you got a better chance than Diddy. Like this list alone shows me that it could be worse. So it could so, be worse. Yeah, it's a very positive outlook. Just compared to this immediate list, I'm doing pretty great. I'm feeling good about this, Mark. I'm feeling good for it. I know it's been a while, but you got this. You always got this. So, all right, take a breath. Breathe in, breathe it out. Do you believe in a thing called love? Yes, you do. Here we go. (laughs) Hot takes in three, Uh, two, one. Hot takes. All right, let's let's get to talking about Lauren Hill first and foremost. Isn't it crazy that I don't give a shit about this because we have fucking Diddy and R. Kelly on the same list? I'm cool with her doing fraud. And in the, in the scope of musicians in trouble right now, fraud's just fine with me as opposed to the other things. Um, Inside Out 2 doing great is cool. I haven't seen it. I like the first one. Uh, I do hope they make the third one, but please don't make it a fucking musical. Uh, would be my advice. Uh, Rings of Power, I didn't see the first one. I don't, oh damn, party time. Um, uh, Matthew Perry, doctor found guilty. Uh, that's crazy as a huge Matthew Perry fan. Is it weird that I'm glad it was murder and not because it's like less sad? It's like, oh, okay, something <laughs> was just like, I, it was sadder if he like killed himself or something. So it's crazy that there's something uh, foul play and it's good that he's been caught. Scors- uh, Scorsese not retiring. Um, good, good. I didn't know who he was. I just thought he would just end up uh, dying at some point. Um, let him keep making movies. Woo! Well, Mark. Some fireworks. <laughs> Great hot takes, Mark. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, the whole the whole the whole Scorsese thing was like, you know, because everyone was like speculating he's gonna retire now because of everything that uh like all of his movies are getting pushed and postponed. And so everyone's like, is he is he retiring? And then he came for and was like, I'm not retiring, guys. I mean we, so yeah, like we whole... had Coppola drop a movie and he hasn't done thing something in like 
15 years or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, like Coppola, if he can keep going, why would not Scorsese keep going too, you know? Yeah, uh, do it till you don't, till you can't. I'm like, you know, Tarantino is going to retire and I don't think that's cool, but you know, whatever. Yeah. I, that's like, I don't get that too. It's like, oh, I got 10 movies and that's it. It's like, you know, something might come along and be fantastic. You want to do, don't, don't say that about anything. I think when artists say that it's just BS, you know, I'll always, always like who's retiring today. I'll be back in two months. You know, it's like, dog, you're not an athlete. Like it's not like the body just didn't have it anymore. It's like you're directing, you know, it's, it's a creative thing. I feel like there's no real reason to stop. Yeah, unless you're creative. Cut yeah. action. Real, real tough job. Which part action? <laughs> anything with directing. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, but I mean, I'll take that over is... most jobs. Can I, can I defend musicals for a second? <laughs> oh, yeah, you should. Hold, hold, one second, I'll let you defend musicals. I love good so, musicals. I put, the, I put the poll out there. Let us know who you think should win hot takes. Vote, 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 vote it up. Uh, Lexi, what do you guys say about some musicals when defend the musical world? It's like the whole chat's like, I hate musicals. And like last time we did this, I said, you guys had this conversation. The chat was like hard about musicals. And like, musicals are great. And I'm like, I'm a huge, I've been in musical theater most of my life. It's a big part of my life. Um, you know, uh, so you're I don't biased. necessarily know. I'm not biased, but it's, I know, I'm messing with it's you. not, I don't know if I like, okay. The first Joker film making the second Joker film a musical. I don't know if that was the route to go. And I know you were going to alienate the fan base of the first Joker film because the first fan base of the first Joker film was a very particular fan base. It wasn't what you were going to expect for that. But, um, like as far as musicals are concerned and like there was like i heard like some people were like you know bashing on like in the heights in the heights came out during covid like it didn't have a chance um the one that uh, the, the remake of west side story did very well and it was a beautifully done remake of west side story i mean it was like hands Spielberg. down one of the best like, right yes yeah, remake of that was excellent i mean as far as like the more recent stuff wicked's coming out wicked was i just saw that in the the um theater it was excellent and i think it's going to kill I mean, that's going to be one of the big ones. That was huge in 2010 when it came out, the music for that. I mean, look at Glee. Glee was constantly pulling music from that and everything else. And I mean, I, I know, like, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but, like, neither is the Joker, right? 100% yeah, well, true. I, I think I think musicals like, are great. It, it's just like, and I didn't mean to cut you off there, but, like, I just think it's, like, the, you know, it's cyclical. It's like, I think, like, a certain amount of people are like, oh, I want this and I want that, but I think it's, like, when you're looking at your thing crossing into another t territory, like, okay, they took your thing and they pushed it with my thing, right? So I like musicals and you like superhero stuff, right? So they made a superhero musical. And why, do I want a superhero musical? I don't really, really want a Joker musical, but as a fan of musicals, I'm going to look at it, right? But as a fan yeah. of Joker, you're only looking at it for the Joker and then you're mad that it's a musical. So. I feel like, and they didn't yeah. advertise it as a musical. That's a problem too. They didn't advertise it at all. They were like, "Oh, it's yeah. you know." Even Todd Phillips it's couldn't good. say it in, in interviews. I think as soon as people kind of heard, I think people hated the idea from like, like a year ago when they heard about it. So They're probably trying to hold that back and not have other people know that it was. But the director of it said when he was making the second film, it was a musical. The, the day he said yeah. he was making. Mm -hmm. And he said when he was casting Lady Gaga in it that it was going to be a musical. This guy's been saying this is going to be a musical, so it's like I don't he know also who said it wasn't it. though. He also, well, before I mean, it came out, he did a whole interview lecture where he was like, it's not per se a musical. Who's saying it's a musical? Like right before it came out. And I, and I was like, what? I'm like, we're, wasn't this a whole thing? We were musical, right. big part of it, you know? And he's like, it's not really a musical. And it's like, because why? Because the, the songs don't add to the narrative. They're like a separate thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's the issue though, right? From what I hear from people who've seen it, uh, and they're all people who like musicals. Everyone likes a musical if it's like good, if it's like the songs are good and captured and like captivating. But sometimes what a musical is supposed to do is be like storytelling. It's revealing something about a character. It's like actually walking you through a scene. Um, it's basically a big scene that's sung. And apparently these songs are kind of like nothing burgers. They're not really changing any narratives. They're just kind of flat surface level songs that don't have any like, don't like resonate with anybody. So it's like, apparently they're bad songs too. Is what I hear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just think they don't add anything to the narrative. Like I, when I saw it too, I just felt like they took me out of it. And then like, and then we're like, oh, we're getting back to the Joker movie. Oh, there's a song. Oh, let's get back to the Joker movie. You know. So it just felt like it was like a sidestep a lot for me. And then the fact that that uh, Todd Phillips was also telling them to sing bad during it, which is also a weird choice. Like, why are you telling them to sing bad? I don't mm -hmm. understand that. But why would you, why would you cast a 
great musician and Taylor right. just sang terrible. I mean, uh, uh, Joaquin can sing too. He did Johnny Cash and stuff. I know, and he was. Yeah. I like. I was like, I was shocked. I'm like, because after seeing him, Johnny Cash, I'm like, oh, he's got this. And then I was like, yeah. oh, maybe he doesn't have this. <laughs> uh, the movie is just. Honestly, I, I thought it was a beautiful movie, but I think overall people are going to be trash talking. Let's not trash talk musicals, though. Let's not do that. I think musicals it have so much. good a, if it, uh, a as, place. as was said by our guests. You know, if, if you got a good song and good music related to the movie, you've got something. Dude, right. This I'm movie, jam- yeah. I was I have, jamming the greatest show seen. like yesterday. Like, yeah. I like, I love a uh, cap- catchy, really like captivating songs for musicals yeah i think I mean, it goes a long way. look at bob's burgers for an example like bob's burgers almost every other episode has a musical or musical like theming in it and i think a lot of like um animation is a good example of things that really utilize you know sure. musical elements well and i think people often don't think about animate like unless they you know with the exceptions of like disney's or things like that but i think like mm-hmm. animation has had a relationship with musical content for so long that it's almost like you know par for the course and people sing in musicals and stuff so i think like you know maybe if things are less animated and they're more live action that then things go that route it feels a little less deta- feels more detached i don't know but yeah it's such a great medium uh, for uh, yeah. to do a song because it's all you're animating it so you can put them on space they can sing and you, like everything you can space. just kind of make up as you go i can see a lot of potential Budget in life in the Joker being musical, he's very sure. whimsical. He's very fun. He's very lively of a character. And with Harley Quinn there, I think there's a lot of potential for a lot of fun and musical elements in that. Especially if you look at like Harley Quinn's art animated series, they've had musical episodes of that. Mm. So there's you know plenty. It does make sense. It. I just think, and then of course Spider Man had a musical, but that was a bomb, right? Like that was a massive failure. So I mean, it's oh, not yeah. like people haven't attempted things like this before in the past. Um, I, I just like it's more that. The way that the first Joker film was done, it wasn't done the Joker. It was done Taxi Cab. And yeah, I think yeah. that people came in expecting a sequel to Taxi Cab with a Joker overlay. And what they got was a musical. And what you're looking at is more a film that really catered to, and I hate saying this, but it did cater to incel culture. And so it really like pumped up that kind of people and those kind of people and they really got hyped. and. So they were going in, they, those people were really upset. And I think half the fan base is that, and half the fan base are people who are just genuinely upset as a whole. And so, I think also it's because he's not really Joker in this. That's the problem. Like, people are, like, upset. Right. They, not to cut you off too, GR. It's like, it's not really, a, it's like not even Joker movie. Like, he doubles down this is not Joker. Like, yes, Joker's there, but his character is really not the Joker. And I think people are mad about that on that top of the music. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot of, you know, things going against it from the first movie to this one. I just, I, from what but, I hear, but, but, I kind of like the that. Bottom line, but, excuse me. This is that bottom okay. line. Is the music in this movie had nothing to do with the fucking movie. <laughs> I hear that too. And, I that's hear too. and I might watch this and end up seeing this and well, this is a giant piece of shit. Like I, I might be 100% on it some time. I haven't shit. seen it and so I can't make an opinion on it as a whole. So like, yeah. you know, that's where I'm at with everybody else. But um, like, I don't hate the concept behind it at least anyway. Yeah, but, me um, neither. You know. But it's but the thing is though people are just trashing thirty percent Ron Tomatoes. I mean honestly the numbers just keep going down. I, it, it, but it's still one hundred twenty one million, not bad. Don't hate the idea of the first Joker film him not being the Joker, and that the second yeah. Joker film you find out that he's not, and that that yeah. leads into like the actual Joker because like there has been people in the comics in the past who have claimed to be the Joker and are not right. There's been plenty. Of it's like the whole tale of him. 100%. Nobody, nobody really knows who the Joker is, including the Joker himself, because the Joker won't admit to who he is. He's, he lies. That's the big thing about yeah. him. He's a narcissist, and he lies about who he is. He will never well, tell you. Dead past. Now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, he loves <laughs> to lie. Uh, before we find out our hot take master here, Mark, you haven't been here for the Diddy situation. You think Diddy's done? How do you think it's happened? With, do you think I Diddy's like done? Uh, pickle- yeah, I think <laughs> Diddy's done. I. <laughs> I do think, unless he changes his name a fourth time, that's his only chance of getting out of this. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. It, it's actually what's more interesting is who's going to go down with him. It's apparently, you know, it's not a solo act. A lot of people satelliting around him. Is this going to be a thing where we get some other big names coming very soon? Or, and then also, is there going to be like 
some sort of Epstein-ish type. What if Diddy like is found dead and is it mysterious? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's interesting seeing what something on this high level, like happening in real time, how it's going to work out. That's that's a big worry too. I think that's why they're saying he's worried that someone's going to poison him, or you know, mm. someone's going to try to kill him, and they have him like in a you know, suicide watch, everything else. Mm. You never yeah, know. I'd say you better you better check your baby oil, buddy. You check that baby <laughs> oil. <laughs> yeah, but, be uh, smart. But great hot from the hot takes. Woo. So we do have a hot take master for this Monday, 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 October 7th, 2024. All right, let's find out who won hot takes. The winner of hot takes for this Monday edition of Cruise Control is... Lexi Koval. Lexi, congratulations! Obviously. Ninga song. Ninga song. Also, Cal, I used to be in a rock cast. So, I used to have to do the time warp two Sunday, Saturdays every month. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about every month for what? <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. The cast, the the chat, oh. talk about Rocky Horror Picture Show. So um, that's actually where I met Rachel. That's a great. That's a great musical. It's a great musical too. It's great. It's interesting. Musical. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. So it's like you got to be creative with this. You know, you got to have fun with it. I first got into. I used to try to make my high school do it though, and I see why they wouldn't let me. I love musical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, screw them. I, I love musicals though, and I think that this was intriguing to me, but Joker, but unfortunately, it's uh, getting trash talk. So, <laughs> sorry, Joker, the joke's on you, I guess, too. <laughs> but there's a lot, a lot more going on, everybody, of course, on Cruise Control. Appreciate you getting great hot takes. Thank you all for voting today. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.